Okay, I guess we do the spiel again. Thanks for the heads up, Stu. <laughs> um, yeah, I was playing Spelunky offline and I don't have a mic on for that. Um, okay, so we're going to be doing the Daily Smorgasbord, which I really need to figure out how to say. Um, if I'm going to keep insisting on calling it this. Uh, we're going to play just the daily challenges from a bunch of different games and see how they all go. And that means... We get the Spelunky music, because not, I'm not putting on song requests just because I have one game which has uh, no stuff. Plus, I want I, I whack these up on YouTube afterwards. Right, let's have a quick, speedy warm-up run. Hey, Meow, how's life treating you? Um, let's have a quick, speedy warm-up run just so that I... My hands are all warmed up and stuff so that I can lose the daily in... In, in prime time, which I'm very much looking forward to. Oh wow, I haven't heard this music in ages actually. <laughs> Every time. Shouldn't have whipped then. That's a bad decision. I'm not going to go for hell stuff. Not for this run. This is really just a quick warm up. had good weekends or, or however long the weekend has been since I last spoke to you. Oops, that's not the way. Eesh, going a bit slow but it's just a warm up run, it's fine. It's not this way, is it? That's what that spike means. Can I grab that? Yes, I can. Because I'm a superstar. That's why. Hmm. That's less ideal. couple of 20 odd second uh, levels in the jungle, which like I, I didn't feel like I was handling them that badly, but, but yet, I should have gone for the worm, should have gone for max low, I just didn't see the... I think that will list link to the right tab, but I'm not actually sure. Oh! Well, that's fine. That's what warm-up runs are for. No, not that. Daily challenge is the second one, Dad.
So I haven't tried the Slay the Spire daily, but I'm going to be including that on here as well. I've seen most of the characters now. I don't know whether it lets you pick pick which character you play as or what, but... I can't get there, can I? I can. I just need to have a little more faith in myself. Okay, so there's a chance I'll be playing a character I haven't seen before, but that's fine. Three and four chance I won't, so that's plenty. And if I do, well, I need to see this fourth character anyway. Dark levels should be banned. Okay, good. I was worried I was going to miss and it was going to blow up the altar instead. Oops. Oh, man. You're making a fool of yourself. this side. I feel so diligent. All this care and attention. Nothing in the shop worth the robbing the shop for, I don't think. This, however, I will take. Where do I need to be? Uh, I'll just... Oh, good! Good, good. I forgot I had sticky bomb. Damn it! <laughs> wow. Um, let's update this, I guess. That is. There we go. Okay. Well, that that was that for the spelunky. Uh, Slay the spire next, I guess. Okay, slay the spire time. <laughs> the defect. Well, I'm glad I played this yesterday. Okay. Modifiers. All star. Start with five colorless cards. Whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the merchant. Question mark rooms can now contain elites, but also are more likely to contain treasure rooms. Ha! Ah! I've not seen any of this stuff. This is going to go awfully. Time for a challenge. Jack of all trades, enlightenment, trip, transmutation, secret weapon. Hmm. I didn't even know these modifiers were a thing. 
Okay, we're going to go up this way. Uh, so we can get some of those question marks which are more likely to have... You can set off. What attacks have we got in my draw pile? Ah, uh, nothing exciting. But we'll do it anyway. Is that good or bad? Is having this many things in your deck... I feel like having more things is just worse. All right, you're vulnerable. Defend. Yeah, let's play Mayhem. Let's make you extra vulnerable for future, future rounds, I guess. These are already basically zero. I'll channel one lightning. Draw three cards? Why not? Oh, because I didn't have enough mana left after using it. Oh well, I'll cycle back around. I had no attack cards left anyway. Good. I need to play more defensively. This character would be the character for that don't uh, attack achievement, right? Yeah, I mean, I think you mean when I make it to the end. Yeah, I'll take three of those powers, thanks. I love powers. I'm going to have so many and it's going to be... Alright, we're going to take loads of question mark rooms as well, because I'm interested in this. Right, let's lose some HP. Whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, I'm not going to be doing that much attack damage. Let's go this way. Your first attack each combat deals eight additional damage. Is the shop I didn't want to go to anyway. <laughs> Game block equal to the number of cards in your discard pile. That's probably going to be quite good. Uh, I don't have it, but can't afford it, but that's probably going to be quite good with... <laughs> it's a little easier than to get this far than in Spelunky, but yeah, no, that, I was not proud of that. Uh, I don't want to become cursed because I can't remove curses. <clears throat> oh, this doofus. Can't afford any of those. Three random attacks from a draw pile into your hand. Well, I can't use those either. I need to be attacking this guy now. That's going to be interesting. Oh, that, that was a skill which, yeah. I was thinking, oh, I won't defend because that'll increase his damage, but... Instead, I'll do this. Deal six damage, deal six damage. I'll 
just take a bunch of damage. I'm going to need to be healing more, I think. Right. Let's just defragment a bunch. This should do it. It's fine. Who needs attacks? Let's get a static discharge in my thing. Let's put some extra attacks in. You know, you're right, that is a bit weird. I should probably heal up as well, shouldn't I? Or I could not be a coward. But if I heal up here, I get to fight an elite guaranteed, which I like doing. I'm going to be channeling all over the place. Right, so... Those. Oh, the lightning's not going to wake him up, is it? Do I have to keep my... Nothing this turn either. I need to make sure that I don't channel anything more because it will wake man up. Until I've used my powers, at least. Uh, you're going to go on top of my draw pile. Will it now? I don't think it will. It'll wake him up after the next thing, but that's why I was making sure I didn't channel anything. Five. No, I don't want any of that. Let's add a bunch of things in case. And five block. Might as well apply that power. Draw a card in case there's anything that's going to help. Oh, that's not going to help. That's probably unhelpful. I mean, dead this turn anyway, but still. Like, I, I wanted to get it before he did the damage to me. Right, extra HP, Ancient Potion, why not? Nah, I don't care about channeling Frost. Not with that, at least. That's too much frost. This, however, I can probably bounce with. Let's give that a go. Extra energy every three turns. Two health, whatever. It's not enough to stop me taking that damage, but we'll be fine. That'll give me loads of energy, right? Because I'm going to have a huge deck. Let's 
go around this way so I can decide if I want to heal next. Which I probably will want to. Let's defend. I'm going to take five damage and channel one lightning. Yes. There's a, there's a limit to how much I should be doing that, probably. So I think I should probably skip. Tempting though it is. I would channel so much lightning every time I got hit, but I wouldn't be able to do anything else apart from getting hit. I'm going to be healing more than I'm accustomed to, I think, with this, with this run. That gain five block. And fifteen damage. Let's do it to this one then I guess. Oh, I want that do do lightning to everyone. Although what happens if you get that three times? guess I'll get... Is that... Oh, is that... You only get it for every six cards in your draw pile. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. I just can't do maths because I'm on 29, not 30. be healing all the time now. Getting hit is what I do best. It's my specialty. You got me there. get that for just big heal after the combat because you should be taking a ton of damage now anyway Fragment. Let's 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 defend. I wanted to defragment, but I think it's probably better to not. Get some extra mana. In one focus. Play all of the things. I can't afford that. Play that. I should have played that first, considering I am actually... I'd like, he's dead this turn anyway, I'm just mucking about. But I still should have done it. The sensible way around for practice. Practice of thinking. <laughs> Evoke your next orb X times. So does that... Oh, that's going to mean, like, if you have three orbs and you cast for three, it's going to use all three of them. It's not going to use the first one three times. I'm going to take some holograms. I don't think I need to heal. 
What here is good. X random upgraded colorless cards. Let's just do that. Random colorless cards. Yeah, I like that. Do I want to draw a card? Um, fair enough. Yeah, maybe I should have got it. Do I have anything good for blocking? I could use this to get aggregate back. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Get aggregate back. Give myself loads of mana. And that. And... Tons of colourless cards. I'm not going to use madness, I don't think. Ah, uh, maybe I'll, maybe I will now. Hmm. What should I put? On? I'll put that on top of my draw pile, even though I'm drawing a ton at the moment. Let's just chuck that on the bottom out of the way. was hoping it wouldn't be that one. Okay. Time to take a big chunky amount of damage. I've got block potion for when I need it. Oh, you've gone already. Ah, but you didn't evoke because it was when you took when I took the damage. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, Evoke Twice did just use this one twice here. Put that at the bottom of my draw pile. A free block for whenever I do need it. drink the potion now. I do have that which would have helped, I guess. Yeah, it is fine. Sixteen? Maybe I could have kept the potion for this turn.
I don't think there's anything else I want to do this turn. I'm going to be channeling lightning the second time I get hit. Which will give me more block. Is that for next turn or is it now? Ooh. That cycled through all that stuff. I lose all the block which I got there. But Is that that defend I put on the bottom already? Oh, I shuffled. Let's get some extra mana. Defrag. Defends. Apply some vulnerable. Five, five, five. If I do that, then it should take enough damage from these orbs that it won't attack me this turn, right? Jobs are good. Pay five. That's a lot. If I add a random power card into my hand, is that going to add a... Is that going to add three for that combat? What's this? Whenever you add a card to your deck. I, I don't know if that happens in the fights. I don't know. Or I can gain focus. I'm going to do that one. It's going to be fun. Transform all strike and defend cards. Do I have strike and defend cards? I do. Sounds like cowardice. Electrodynamics I wanted. And I've got the claw. Oh, I don't want reprogram. I'm not a big fan of any of those cards that just got added. And, and it's three times each of them. It'll just add the one what, sorry. I, I forget in time while I'm talking. Yeah, you're like, by the end of the game, you'll probably have 70 cards. <laughs> I'm going to go this way, even though there's an elite over there, which I have my, my little heart set on. Right. I'm not going to use those two. Okay. Can I do this all defensively? And seven block. Channel one frost. I'll do three to all. Three to all. It takes some damage, but I want to win. <laughs> I want to win this fight without um, without playing any attacks, which I don't think I've done so far. There we go. I didn't come up with the achievement. Maybe it doesn't during. I think let's take a bunch more ball lightnings. Who cares about having good uh, predictable decks? Just chuck loads of stuff in there. I don't like reprogram at all. I'll take the two damage to get the extra two lightning, I think. Get the random power.
That makes sense. But this sort of silly build is, is yeah, this is why I was saying I think this character will be fine. Okay, an eight, gain ten block. Let's just use the claw, even though it's bloody useless. So do I want to... Yeah. I was going to overthink that there for a second, then I realised that was easily lethal this turn anyway. Um... <clears throat> that looks fun, but no. Let's take that one instead. Gain 7 block, channel 2 frost. Can do all sorts of exciting things. You gain one focus. And 20. So I'll take one damage. <laughs> I don't really have to worry about exhausting cards because at this point I'm never going to get around to those cards again. Let's get loads of energy, shall we? I don't like reprogram. I'm just using these. Let's have nine random colorless cards, please. Yeah, why not? Ha! <laughs> Deal 60 damage. I like that one. That card, I want that card. Uh, I like recursion. Right, which way are we going? 297 gold. It could be worth popping by the shop, but now nah, I'll go up this way. I'm likely to fight elites anyway, I think. You know what? I normally take Ritual Dagger, but I don't think that's worth it this time. Because there's going to be three different Ritual Daggers, which I'll almost never get. Extra mana for next turn, I guess. I should probably gain. Okay, let's do that one. that one to get the extra mana next turn. block. And let's deal some damage to you. I'm 
not as many relics as I normally like. I'll take self repair. Probably the end of him. Uh, there is that healing, so it's not. <clears throat> yeah, let's take that as well. It's all about the huge piles. Um, I don't want to heal. And there are so many cards in my deck that smithing probably just isn't worth it. Because the chances of me getting that. Oh, that will only take 14 damage if I do it now, isn't it? Do it anyway. <laughs> and then I just need to kill this one this turn. That's what I was hoping for. Aggregates. And then draw three cards. Perfect. Ball lightning. Draw a card, please. Uh, it's not what I was hoping for. Ah, oh, I can get an artifact. I'll do that before this stupid... Whatever it is. Hex. That's the one it was going to do. So I want you to be vulnerable. Let's make electrodynamics a little cheaper. Uh, there's no point wasting block on that. That's true. Yeah, that is a good point. But also, everything I play is going to be... Deal 3 damage, apply 1 vulnerable. Deal 9 damage, general 1 frost. It is an upgraded card, so really it's 3 upgraded cards. I should have played that before I played my double damage power, shouldn't I? Let's double heal at the end of the fight, please. Draw a card, I guess. It's a shame that I can't recursionify, but it's probably worth it. Would I rather have... Yeah, I'll have that. Gain the block. And I can get five more block. Yeah, it's probably worth it. 
means I'll take three damage and channel a ton of lightning in that. It's a shame that these are all gonna that I keep losing the the bonuses basically. Draw one card, and then upgrade everything for the rest of the game. And I will exhaust this, I guess, because I don't like that card anyway. Oh, and the, the rounds, I, I always forget to look at what's going to happen at the end of the thing. Add random powers to my hand all over the place. And then we'll go through the shop and the elite. Double your energy. All oh, right. What are these? Start each combat with three additional orb slots. Prevent the first time you would lose HP. Enemies in elite combats have twenty-five percent less. I think I'd rather have this and that because I'm not going to. Because I'm not going to be losing HP. Clearly, no. Um. Let's get self-repair as well. And keep myself in healing that way. And let's upgrade some card or other. There aren't any which are innate, are there? Apart from the block ones. That doesn't make it innate. Can I sort these? Why can you not sort your deck? 89 cards! Marvellous. I don't know. It doesn't feel worth doing that because my hand's already full of that rubbish at the beginning of the game anyway. I don't like reprogram. I'm just going to upgrade this because I've got to pick something. Why not? That seems like a reasonable amount of block to have. Again, seven block channel two frost. Yeah, it's probably better to do that. Just because that's 11 block or whatever is a bigger swing than the, the 7 I would have got. too many choices here.
Okay. Hope that hits that by chance. Yeah, there we go. That's okay. Interesting daily, this. Or, like, the whole daily mechanic is interesting. Probably a vulnerable G first, right? I want focus. Where's my lovely focus at? I just did that to get through to channeling that lightning. Every time you play 10 attacks, that's not really going to happen often, but why not? That looks like that's a really bad decision. 9 damage to a random enemy twice. Might as well add some attacks to the deck now. I've got nunchucks. What goodies have you got for me for 50? I actually like that, but... Streamline will never get down below 2. Yeah, no. What's that? Unplayable status cards can now be played whenever you play a status card. Exhaust it. I love Shovel. Shovel is great. Relics make me happy. I wish there was like an exhaust your discard pile card. That seems like a the right time to use that. block and put a card from my discard pile into my hand? What have I got here? Have I got a zero cost? Yes. There we go. going to end up oh no i thought we were going to end up on two because i had one frost thing in there but no cards containing strike deal three additional damage do you lose points for for taking relics i don't know how the points work in this game at all but i have no cards containing strike i don't intend to take any cards containing strike Let's skip the relic. I should probably rest and be responsible. I get a huge amount back from rest anyway because I've got Regal Pillow. So. It's you. I should have used Attack Potion this, this turn. Um, double energy, I guess.
I should have taken the one that did 48 damage anyway. <clears throat> I am terrified that these guys are going to steal two of my cards. I did kind of want that one though. <laughs> if the enemy intends to attack, apply one weak. Might as well. I do want to kill that one when I get the chance just so I can get the do damage to everything. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh. Are there any power cards in here? There probably aren't, are there? Good. We've got enough block anyway, but but it could have been better. I guess just that. I want to kill this this turn. Like, I want to kill it during a turn so that it doesn't... Oh, look at this. Let's get all those, please. Electrodynamics is going to go... Hyper Beam is not my favourite, but oh, this is the this is a boss fight, isn't it? I was going to say, but at least I can rest up before the boss fight. But it's not how it works. Yes. I want focus. I want focus up. I should have taken this first. 27 block. Which is a shame because I wanted to loop and trigger the passive ability of your next orb. That would be nice. I could have done it if I'd used the Enlightenment, but it's all good. Huh. I'm just curious. Look at that. How much focus have I got? I don't want to be losing three focus, that feels bad. <clears throat> 
there anything? I'll double energy first, I guess. Deal six damage to all enemies and then draw a card. Evoke twice. Getting 21 block is probably wiser. Yeah. Than get <laughs> than getting extra orb slots. I'm gonna have too many orb slots to do anything with anyway. But that doesn't mean it's not fun. Get loads of focus. Thirty five is too much damage. So I want the gold out of this. Oh no, I don't have enough mana for the gold out of that. That's a shame. That was going to be a fun one. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put that in. Why not? Deal 24 damage, channel 3 plasma. Seems like a reasonable amount. Remove two cards from your deck. Uh, transform three and then upgrade them. Yeah, I'm going to transform these three ones which I never take. The ones which make your focus worse. Where are they? Here we go. One, two, three. You all can sort off. I'm just trying to pick a route. I think I'd like to fight that one. Mm, that's got you've got to go to the shop early though. If I go to the shop I want to go late. One elite, one question mark, three question mark, and two elites, and one shop late. Three question marks, two elites, which is too many shops. Four question marks two elites and no shops. No, I want to go, right, so I want to go this path down here. Yeah. This is a ridiculously sized deck. <laughs> if I use... 34 colourless cards, can I cast them quickly before they enter my hand? Let's use these up first. I guess you get that. Let's see what happens here. Try and use them before... No, it does your hand is full. That's a shame, there go 30 odd cards. No, 20 odd cards. <clears throat> Let's just end the turn and see what happens. Choose a card to put on the bottom of your draw pile. I guess that. 
Oops, I shouldn't have ended the turn because it did have those staying there. Some weird stuff going on there. I don't know what happens. Like, did those 20 cards get, like, exhausted? Did they get discarded? What? I don't know. I don't know. It's all too much for my little brain. Yeah, why not? That's an attack, unfortunately. Hmm. I don't think that makes that much difference. <laughs> yep, we're going to keep defragment because just focus is good. Just so much focus, please. Oh, yeah. That's what I want. I may have got a little bit excited there, but I want to... I want to be attacking... I want to be using this on all of them at the same time. Because they've all got to die at about the same time. Yeah, again, full focus, that would be fine. Deal 14 damage to all enemies, channel 1 dark. Yep, I'm going to have tons of room for all this crap. Just picking things just look fun. I, there's too much to <laughs> too much to be concerned about anything. This is a silly daily. I'm not sure if they're always silly, but this one is. Ball lightning? Probably ball lightning. I don't have enough mana for... I don't have enough energy, sorry, for that one. Which is a shame. Let's overclock just in case there's anything good in here. Aggregate, there we go. Another Doom and Gloom Plus.
amplify the static discharge. They actually turned up at the same time, which I thought was pretty unlikely. Yeah, we'll finish it this turn, it'll be fine. Who needs block? I'm taking a lot of damage from attacking these guys with thorns when I know that it's going to be a problem. I'm just being goofy. Shouldn't have done that. Right. Upgraded version of that's no good. If only I'd channeled one more lightning. Just more cards for the deck. Because that would have been too much thinking, and I believe you've got me confused with someone else. I can see how that might seem like it makes sense if you're the sort of person who thinks. But there's a very important calculation you're not doing in that. I was planning to amplify one of the other cards, the other power thing, and then I forgot. I'll amplify this. I'm gonna upgrade this. Six damage to, I guess, that one? Not quite enough to kill you, so I'll get two more, but then you'll die from that. Deal 11 damage, gain one artifact. That's cool. Gain three focus, lose one orb slot. Problem is, the chances of me having that at the same time as I get the increased orb slots are reasonably low. Ah, let's do it anyway. Healing is for cowards. Let's go fight the elite. out and one focus. There's not really any point using any of those. Let's get some mana. There are no 
powers to amplify, unfortunately. I'll take that. Let's evoke that. Let's get a random power. Prevent the next time you would lose HP, why not? Could have been. I will try and remember to do that more. Let me check. Okay, we shouldn't be taking damage now anyway. This is a very defensive fight compared to all of the others. <clears throat> I'm very slow. I'm glad I didn't take the focus thing. That one. 24 damage, channel 3 plasma? What do you think? Probably not. Huh. I might take this. Oh, there's an aggregate. I'm taking a bloody aggregate. Channel one dark, or do I want things which will do more lightning? Let's do one dark, I guess. I reckon I can finish this fight in four turns. Why am I still here? Losing an orb, orb slot is bad, because it doesn't... Okay, so if I do this... Like, it didn't... I can't words. When you lose an orb slot, it doesn't evoke whatever was in that last slot. Why don't I have that thing for get, um, if you have no cards left, get the, get an additional card. That relic would be perfect for this run. It's always decent, but. Probably should have done those the other way around, but 
I get to keep this frost now at least. I would like to evoke round before I run out of focus, before I start on like getting negative focus. I would like to evoke round to that, please. Is there anything in here which gets me more mana? Or have I used them all now? I may have used them all now. Otherwise I want things which let me channel a couple of times. Or draw a couple... Ah, aggregate! There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Time for that 46 to come in. I guess I might as well use that. Even though 55 was enough block anyway. Yeah, and it's going to die this turn. Whenever you use a potion, gain 5 HP. Rebound looks fun. But the next card you play this turn on top of your draw pile. Let's just get one colourless card. Apotheosis. Wait, did I just go from 124 to 125? I must have had more before. of things I can amplify here. I like the idea of amplifying uh, Defragment Plus. So I'm going to do it. And let's amplify self-repair. I don't think that was a uh, perfectly played or what you would call well played, but This one. Heal at the end of combat and get some extra block. Let's take that one with extra card draw because I've got so many bloody cards. Whenever you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards at the start of next turn. That's pretty unlikely. Also, I'm going to go this way. I'm not going to bother with the bonfire. <laughs> Upgrade all cards you can no longer heal. Sod it. It's going to work. It's going to be fine. Oh, wait a minute. I can no longer heal from powers? or Because if I, if I can no longer heal, heal from powers as well, maybe that's not as good as I thought. But... Uh, 13, 26... Yes, there's a ridiculous amount of very good powers. Right, so let's amplify this. I 
I guess I'll do that. I'll lose, lose that orb slot. Let's play that. I don't want to lose that orb slot. I could. I might get it back later anyway. Can I get this overclock to trigger twice? Right. Let's deal that damage. And then let's get that healing to over over thingy the stuff. There's no point playing Apotheosis. There's no point playing any of these for now. <clears throat> That's fine, I just won't get hurt. It's a simple plan. Oh, I don't want to consume again. It's fine. It's only a little curse. Seems like a reasonable amount of block. Draw four cards. I'm in for that. We only take upgraded cards now. Oh, I'll have three curses, won't I? It won't just be the one. Let's start with 28 mana, even though I can't do anything with it. This arse is the... He's going to do 18 damage. Don't waste the extra boot sequence. He's going to be a pain because he's the arse who is intangible every other turn. And I don't want my plus two's damage going to a, a round where I'm not doing any attack damage. Like where I can, I, I assume it'll only be one either way. Seventeen damage to a random enemy twice, I think. <laughs> oh no, burns in my discard pile. What what happens when I get to the shuffling stuff in point? Consume one of those. Get 25 block. How about if you were weaker? That would be nice. Because I've got to remember, I'm not going to be able to heal at any point, so I shouldn't even be taking one damage. Intangible wears off. I 
want to do the damage as soon as possible. Because I want to... I, maybe I was going to kill this turn, but... <laughs> Remove all block from the energy. En energy. Oh, I like hologram. I know it's not an upgraded card. It's my only non-upgraded card. Oh yeah! Boot's good. I didn't think about it doing it that way around. Thorns? Why not? And I've got some cards which exhaust, and I've got ways to get them back out of the discard pile if they manage to not exhaust. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm going to get six cards this turn. That's nice. That's nice. Let's gain some block and get this one back, I guess. Random power to your hand. Yeah. <laughs> Thorns m making an appearance. Um, I should have rebounded first, shouldn't I? Because there's no more cards I'm going to play this turn, and that's a waste. If I wanted Electrodynamics on top, which I didn't, it was clearly cunning strategy. First we double energy, then we amplify this capacitor, so we've got loads of orb slots. Thank you, vulnerable. Get a good next turn. That's free, because I want the mana. Uh, did I want that mana though? Could have gone for something which cost two. Great amplify wears out. I already used it. Let's gain a ton of thing then. This, so we've got maximum information. Upgraded Amplify, right, right. Okay. That will be 30 blocks, so that's fine. So much focus. Look at me. I'm rich in focus. Have I got this meteor strike? There we go. Oh, 
I'm going to play that just in case. Yes, it did. It did get discarded instead of going in the thing. Now I can get a stupid amount of block, which I didn't need anyway, but card was useless otherwise. That's not going to do anything, is it? Let's try. No longer heal? Yeah. Cool. Add a card to your deck. Oh, I'll put those in. The card draw is useful. Uh, it's probably worth smithing here, right? Alright, here we go. Zone 3 boss. It's this bugger. Um, did the spoon work twice in a row there? Right, what have I got for three damage? I can't organise by damage, can I? I guess we'll use Doom and Gloom. And this guy's got bloody regenerate, doesn't he? So I've got to kill these other two quickly-ish. So I can just focus on him. Energy. And I want that back for next turn. 10 damage to all enemies. Gain 10 block. Uh, deal 10 damage and channel 1 frost. Okay. 22. I'm going to take like 4 damage here, aren't I? Five. Five damage? Because I can count. That please. Defragmenter. I'll play this because it's just going to get in the way of my colourless cards. Oh yeah, strength potion is always you're right. That like this is the end of the thing. So what happens to all those cards? Where do they go? Did they get discarded? Did they go into the ether? Did they Five random attacks? Yeah, sure. Get some artifacts. Oh yeah, he gets stronger every time I play a power card, for now. I'm not going to gain any block. Deal 28 damage, gain 4 block, draw a card. Do I want this shuffled into my pile, or is it better to be able to... I think it's better to be able to dig through it, like I can do with some of those other cards I have. I forgot this dude was a pain about powers. Have I got any attacks? Yes, that's an attack. Let's draw two cards. Nash, let's make him stronger. But I don't mind as long as I've got this left. 
Gain two block. Gain three block. Forty seven block should be enough. So I don't need to at oh, 49 block. It's a shame I couldn't play Mayhem as well, but... <clears throat> 13 times 4, that sounds bad. I don't trust double your energy to... Right, deal 15 damage and let's put... Skim on top of the draw pile. Defragment. Aggregates. Get loads more mana. Let's skim and take these again. Doesn't really do anything, but I might as well. I don't have any powers out. Let's deal that damage. powers here. Yes, there are. I know it's making you stronger, but I also don't care. Because I'm going to get plenty of luck in a sec. And you won't be around that long. You're going to change to your other form. Exhaust that. Gain a ton of block. Because I'm going to just get a ton of these now. In case there is anything good. I don't want to draw three cards. I'm just playing automatically. All I was thinking is if there are any other powers. Now would be the time... No. Stop mucking about. You're just going to ruin everything. I'm just getting through all my good cards. Gain 10 block. Channel a bunch of lightning. Probably should have done that first. Gain 3 focus, I'll lose that 15 damage. Which I would be doing this turn otherwise. But it will improve my heals. Let's do that. I should have played Apotheosis because I do have stuff in my discard. Which, like colourless cards, which aren't upgraded now. That killed it quite quickly. Achievement unlocked. My lucky day. Charge your core to its maximum. Deal 1,091 damage. Hey! We saw that one in this, we saw that one in this. What's a void? Whenever this card is drawn, lose one energy. Oof. I mean, I guess that would have been good in today's daily because I never got around to my discard pile. But, uh, 1091 is the score that you would use then, right? 
Run history. Victory. Daily. Score 1091. Yes. Should we just do a quick all zones mode with cadence? See how it goes. There's a warm up. this too, I guess. Obsidian Spear is better than Titanium Spear. Most of the time. I'm not sure what you go for in Crypt of the Necrodancer dailies. Is it just gold? Are you trying to accumulate as much gold as possible? I think I'm just going to try and win. That seems like a nicer idea. I should have tried the new weapon, not just gone, well, this will do for now. That was poor, poor decision making. That's fine. Warm up run warmed up. <clears throat> yes, it is coin total that you want. I guess that means I play slow and steady, because what's the point of doing the dailies if you're not going to take the challenge in their spirit? So is starting out by gambling uh, and not even having the money to gamble twice. Let's go again. I think it does a lot for my survivability to know this stuff at least. stuff, don't we? I don't think I can figure out a way of... Oh, it depends what this is, actually. Yes. I'm going to run out of time. I'm going to drop down to the next floor without... Without picking up this item now, aren't I? Well, I got the thing. It's 
this game feel slower than usual? Let me check. Is it is it my have I got too much stuff running or something? Something something's weird. Let's quit Discord in case that's influencing it. I don't know. It feels like it's just slowing down a little bit. Yeah, there's definitely something going on here. Oops. I don't know what that is, but I don't like it. How are you supposed to keep in time if the game can't keep in time? Um, what the hell is going on? That's spending gold, which I don't need to be spending. That is not much better. Ha! Huh. Well, at least I don't need to worry about slowdown now. Hey! Thanks! Welcome on in, Holly. Um, okay, we're going to be playing some Brogue. We're going to be waiting for this screen update thing to screen update. go. I thought 1-4 was. Oh no, mate, I'm just thinking of Spelunky, maybe. Anyway, uh, how do you get this... Control N and today's date is 2020-0223. It says on the screen. All right, let's go exploring. so busy already. Um, if anyone doesn't know Brogue, then ask questions and I'll explain what's going on. But at the moment I'm just setting myself to auto-explore a lot and, and running around and, and looking for things. There's no point. Like, unlike in a lot of roguelikes, and a lot of other like RPG style games. Combat's just something that kind of happens, it's not something which gives you any benefits. Ooh. Uh, nope. 
let's drink that and head out of there. And just wait for that to clear up. So one of these should be a potion of fire, and it'll hurt us if we... Okay, so I guess that means... that you are a potion of fire. Because if you're on a floor where there is one of those... Uh, those flammable gates... So, I'm the little at symbol. I'm exploring a dungeon. I'm trying to get to floor 26 to get the amulet of Yendor. Um, and then bring it back to the surface. Um, I am going to have to explain a bunch as we go through, probably, I guess. But, um, yeah, I've just thrown a flask of flammable oil at what was a little wooden barricade down here. Okay, so now I've got to choose one of these rings. Ring of light, ring of awareness, or a ring of wisdom. I'm going to go for ring of wisdom, which should... So you can look at... Um, you can look at what they say. It should cause my staffs to recharge more quickly if I find staffs. If I don't, it's a waste. Oops, I was being too cavalier there. I really enjoy stave builds in this game, if I can get the stuff for them. Leave me alone, stupid eel. Okay. So... All of these white hash, white white uh, blocks with hashes on are walls. Um, I'm the at symbol. I'm walking around. This this note is a scroll of some sort. Uh, all these green characters are just like plants and stuff like that. Um, so basically, I'm just exploring. I'm trying to pick up things which are yellow. So that yellow thing I've just picked up was food. You can see up at the top here. It says you now have two rations of food. That's what, like that. That's because I just picked up that that semicolon. This here, so I can see that there's something which is yellow, which means it's an item, which means I want to go and grab it. And I can see here, everything I can see is on the left hand side here. So I can see that there's a scroll in front of me. If there are enemies as well, they'll also be listed here. Uh, this is my health, my which recovers over time, but um, this is my nutrition, which goes down over time, but you can eat food to keep it up. But obviously if you're resting a lot because you're taking a lot of damage, then you're going to get through your nutrition faster. Um, this is, yeah, my strength, which tells me what I can use. Armor affects how much damage I take. Stealth range affects how easy it is for people to see me. I'm going to turn this music down a bit. It's quite loud. Um, you will see enemies in a minute. So I'm going to just step onto this scroll and you see here I now have two scrolls entitled No Good Flirts Good. Um... So if I press I to look at my inventory, I can see all the things I have. This up here, above this dotted line, are things I have equipped. And down here are things I don't have equipped. And there's a if, if, some, if part of a name is in purple, then I don't know what it is. So every run they randomise like what colours the potions mean and uh, what scrolls are what and things like that. So... Uh, when we see an enemy, I will point out... So you, you see this K over here? And that it's also appeared over here. There's a kobold here that is asleep. So I'm going to have a little prod around before I see about fighting it. Um, it should be easy to kill a kobold. But again, there's no real, like, there's no reward for killing enemies in this game. The reward is that they don't kill you, basically. So if you can entirely avoid things, 
Uh, I was just coming to see if there was any anything else of use in this room, but... Okay. So, I guess I'm going to try this potion. It's a potion of strength, so that's put my strength up to 13 at the top left. Scroll of enchanting. I'm going to enchant this war pike. Why not? What's this scroll? Scroll of shattering has destroyed all the walls. And a scroll of magic mapping. Okay, so all these walls have gone blue and green because what I just read has started melting them, basically. So there are times when that can be very strategically useful. With a lot of this stuff, it's good to know what they are as soon as possible. Okay, so this pink G down here is a goblin con conjurer. Let me use this thing. And what that does is it summons these little arrows, these spectral blades. Um, if you mouse over things, it tells you loads of information as well. If you ever want to play this, then it's really good at giving information. I just kind of know roughly what these things are. So, like... It's a spectral blade. The eldritch forces have coalesced to form this flickering ethereal weapon. The spectral blade has a 94% chance to hit you. Typically hits for 3% of your current health and at worst could defeat you in 28 hits. But it will keep summoning more. So I might take one step towards it. But I think what I would like to do... I-C-T... I'm, so I'm selecting... Let me do this more slowly. So I'm opening my inventory, selecting darts, press, uh, selecting to throw them, and then I want to throw it at this goblin. So you can see, rather than aiming directly at the goblin, if I try and throw there, it's going to hit... Like, you can see that it, it puts the path of the dart in red. So actually, I want to aim just behind the goblin, because I know that it will miss that blade and it will hit him instead and there are a lot of colours and stuff, when I killed the goblin which I just did there um, the spectral blade disappeared which will always happen with those so I, I always know like if I've, if I've already tried something this run I'll always know what it is so I can just drink that strength potion I've just picked up. I stood in a stupid place there while I was doing that. Um, what else have I got? Let's try this scroll. Aggravate monsters, that's bad. Let's also try this opal ring and I'll find out what it is Hmm. So, with all sort of roguelikes, basically, you uh, just bump to move into things. It's basically, if you've played Crypt of the Necrodancer, which uh, I know you have, then roguelikes are basically that, but without the timer. Like, the, the rhythm aspect, which says you have to move every so often or you're you're missing a turn so that you basically understand the essence of this game you bump into things to hurt them that's it but this is a bit like it's more in depth uh more like traditional ones so there's no beats in this at all the music i've got on is actually something completely different because there's no music in the game I just put on, I searched for royalty free dungeon synth. Um, I'm not going to go for a ring of lights. I'm also not going to go for those gold pieces because I don't think. It's not like a, it's going to make much difference. Like, gold doesn't help you for anything apart from. Apart from. 
like score in this. Like you can't use it at shops or anything, so I don't fancy going out of my way for it. Um, yeah, so this is this is a roguelike, which is kind of a dungeon crawler. In in the traditional, there's kind of a traditional way that people say it, and a, a more a broader, more recent way that people say it. But the traditional ones are all kind of these turn-based dungeon crawler top-down style things. Um. <laughs> Always bomb the shopkeeper. Actually, no. It, it's, it's, it's a lot less worth it to steal from the shopkeeper in Crypt of the Necrodancer than it is in a lot of other similar games, I think. Like... I steal from the shopkeeper in every run in Spelunky, pretty much. But Necrodancer, it's only if they have something amazing. Alright, so I'm going to throw a dart at this pit bloat here, because when it dies, it's going to open up a hole in the floor and it came too close to me. Okay, so it opened up a hole in the floor and I fell down. And you know what? I might not bother going back up. Uh, no, I am going to go up just because the staircase is so close. Okay, right. So here is an example of a, a, a room layout style thing. You see up here, this hashtag is a heavy portcullis. Oh, it, it just looks like a ring shop and I already have two rings. But let me let me let me do this anyway. I'm gonna throw this whip onto the trap. Because I'm not using it anyway. Ring of stealth, ring of transference, ring of regeneration, or ring of awareness. Awareness is really good. Makes you more notice notice traps more. Stealth makes it harder for people to see you. That is good as well. Regeneration healing is nice. Transference is nice as well, but I tell you what. I would probably take the awareness, but I'm going to take the stealth. Out of deference to your sensibilities, let's let's do that. Sensibilities, you know what I mean. This is audience participation. Yes. Let me throw this. And no, I, I only have two fingers, unfortunately. So I'm waiting to find out what the opal ring is. Because I've got four rings already. Oh, right, right, I see what you... No, I only, I only have two fingers, unfortunately, in this game. I guess maybe they're thumb rings? Because, look, if I try and equip this... You've got to remove a wing. A wing? A ring? Okay, I'm hungry. So I'm just going to eat some food. And I can use this stealth... I could go all in stealth build, which I've never done before. Could just roll with it. I want to see what this other ring is before I make any other decisions. 639 more turns. And I want to be going a different direction from where I just saw that toad walking. Because there's no point fighting it if I don't need to.
Yeah, it's it's good for bouncing him back, I guess. I really don't rob uh, Freddy that often in Necrodancer. I, I mean, I don't finish many Necrodancer runs. I just... So, the Spelunky Discord has... Or, the Spelunky speedrunning site has... Um, I need to heal in a second. I should be more cautious. Instead of just hitting that... There was an arrow trap on the wall that I was hitting while it was hitting me back. Um... Why is my stealth range 13? Hit. <laughs> oh right, right, in 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 Crypt of the Necronuncher. I thought you were advising me now, just like hit the kobold. What are you doing? Um Right. Should we try a potion? Let's let's give another Potion of crack. Potion of darkness, that's not good. Let's try another one. Ho potion of hole in the floor. Alright, that's a downward staircase, which we definitely don't. Oh, that's a busy room. You know what I can do? Stick my head in. I can't see anything because I drank a potion of darkness. No. Um, but I know when I went in here a minute ago, there was tons of stuff. So I'm just going to throw a poisonous potion in there. And then leg it. Oh yeah, in this build, goblins have... Oh no! Yeah, that was that was poorly done as well. Oh, what did I have in my inventory? Plus two ring of stealth. Plus three ring of reaping. Okay, that wasn't very good without any staffs either then. I had loads of scrolls of enchanting, which I should have used. I could have been using a war pike if I had enchanted it down. Oh, well that's disappointing. Um, anyway. That that was broke. That that's how it that's how it looks, but it just gets harder and harder until you get to floor twenty six, which I have never done. Okay. Seven hundred and sixty two. There you go. I did like twice as well as the last game entirely. That's how it works, right? Sadness 100. Right. I guess... Let's try this. I haven't been playing with... I haven't been playing with uh, any of the... Like with mouse and keyboard. Even when I have been playing. But I probably should go back to it. Because I play so few games with mouse and keyboard. And it is, like, objectively better. Oops. Yeah, it's like Enter the Gungeon, but I like this a lot more. Okay, enter the, does Enter the Gungeon have a, a daily? I will need guidance if I'm playing it, though. Oh, thank you. Cheers, Meow. Oh. Let's get the screwdriver.
Maybe I should be playing with steroids. He's the fast one. Sneak around this side where it's safe. Uh. Why is no one dropping health? There we go. Please don't disappear before I get to it. Oh, I shouldn't have gone for that. Okay, I'm warmed up enough. Let's do the daily. And we'll play as Crystal again. As Crystal is the safe, the safe bet. <laughs> I have played into the gungeon before it just I don't know it didn't quite click with me I I do want to give it a go because there is I, I I want to like it more than I actually do, if you know what I mean. Because I want it I want to do the roguelite pentathlon runs. Oof, I don't want grenade launcher. I remember seeing the red chest on here. Nothing else is that important. Sharp teeth is good. Yeah, let's take sharp teeth. Oops, just too slow to shield. Didn't die. Was kind of expecting to. God, screwdriver is so bad. I guess whatever's in there has gone down to the next level. Strong spirit. Prevents death once. Oh, I like lucky shot as well, but I think strong spirit is probably best. Because I'm more fussed about survivability of this. Bloody laser pistol looks like the good option here. Oops! Shot myself! I just wanted to fire off a few random pot shots to places really far away. And then we'll get the screwdriver back. Oh, and I already revived. God. Okay. Well, I got to 2 1 in this one, okay? Okay. Um, Isaac, 
Roast the Sun, Neurovoida, or Oli Oli? I'll play Oli Oli while you decide whether you want one of the others. Right, how does this game control again quickly? Press like down and then you let go. And you press A when you want to land. There you go. Oh, and you can press with your thing, but that doesn't doesn't work in the dailies because it's a combo. It's just a combo score chaser. Okay, um, I'm going to do the daily for this then. The dailies in this are really short as well, that's why like, while you're thinking I'll, I'll pick it. But right, let's do a practice run to see what the layout's like. Yes, good. How are you supposed to... Hmm. I think I need to be doing more tricks than I'm doing on one of those first grinds. So that I get the clearance. There we go. Oops. Okay, let's play it for real. That'll do. I... I'm familiar enough with the mechanics that... Ah, oh, there we go. Final score, zero. Yes. Marvellous. Zero. I don't think anyone else still plays this. Because no matter how badly I do, it's like, Hey, you're number one. You showed the whole world how to do it like a king. That is exactly how I wanted it to turn out. Marvellous. Yeah, but your score is your score is the, <laughs> the 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 like combo points thing. Score zero. I'm going to become quicker at doing multiples of 54 at least. 486? Let me just make that zero points. Maybe make that one bold. Right, what's the daily challenge? Oh, it's with the lost. Gosh darn it. Oh, but this does mean I get the lost with holy mantle, which I never normally have. Oh, and I'm going to the dark room. That's there. I'm, I don't want to change the controller. I want to see what the controls are. Oh, charge bars is an option. That might be good. I don't really remember which is like use bombs and which is use items and all that sort of stuff and it might be a problem. But I guess we'll find out when we find out. I'm not re-rolling away from Holy Mantle, thanks. <clears throat> I 
So scoring this is based on picking up less items. I can't remember whether the loss can do anything with that sacrifice thing. I think I just die straight away. But there's a chance that there's like a cool gimmick. Oops. Might die now. Ah, oh, good. This will go well. It's fine, that's what we've got Butterbean for. <laughs> oh, actually, isn't there a thing where if you keep picking up and dropping Butterbean, it can randomly turn into the one that's like Butterbean but good? The, like, wait what one or whatever it is. If so, I should go check that out. Resilient buggers. Longest fight in the world. There we go. All that for a key. I've forgotten the rest of the layout. I should be on the next floor already. If I want to be on pace. I, I wasn't going to be able to do boss rushes this one anyway, I don't think. There's the lost. <laughs> The only game mode which I haven't beat as the Lost was the uh, normal greed mode, which I thought was what you had to do to unlock Holy Mantle. It's not what you have to do to unlock Holy Mantle. <laughs> that was a bit disappointing. Let me go. So much better without those stupid rules about, like, I mean, with Holy Mantle. Uh, stupid, take one piece of damage to the whole game and you die. Okay, it was kind of fun, but. But I can't get anywhere on it. I couldn't even when I used to play this more regularly. by the baby spiders. Don't forget to use knockback boy if you need to. Tears up. It's not nothing. It's not great, but it's not nothing. You can hide over the rocks a bunch with the Lost as well, but it's slower. So I'll be going to that more. I don't know what Bloody Crown does. 
down. Soothing thoughts. This is not soothing. Why did I take my one hit for the room so soon? That was a bad decision. I shouldn't have chosen to take damage. Every time I come back and try and play Isaac, it's lost. Like on daily runs, but also possibly biased because I was playing as the lost. Like when I stopped playing, it was when I did that thing with um, beating the game mode without Holy Mantle. When I could have just got the bloody Holy Mantle. Waited until I got it at me. Yes. Go here. Wishbone is bad because that only does things when it breaks, right? Forty-eight hour energy. Look, I know what it is now. That's. Something. You almost got me there, you little blighters. Let's have a little shifty in here as well. Well, this is a useless bloody room. Buy a key back. I feel robbed. Under the haunts. Run MVP. I can't wait to have feared enemies being all unpredictable around me. It's going to be great. Eek. This is going to be a bloody nightmare. Look at all this nonsense. Why is everything on fire? Why are you making everything be on fire? Eek. I don't like this. Oh no, I need to put out these fires before they shoot me. Because I ain't going to remember to dodge those in time. I think I'm going to die in this room. I did not die in this room and even dropped the good item. Right. We're not going to take that health because that would just lose us points and not get any actual benefit from it. Why is it all Curse of the Lost? I hate Curse of the Lost. I hate all the curses. If given the choice, I would much rather not be cursed. Just in general, in most situations. You up. 
using a bomb which might be here. It was there. Increases my angel deal chance. I thought they all increased your devil deal chance. Eek! Don't panic. I can sense you all panicking. But only vaguely through my mild hysteria there. Right. And there was nothing at the top, so it's got to be down or right. Let's just start by down. Do what is it? Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. I almost put weave in there, but I'm pretty sure that it being the five Ds of dodgeball is the important part. And weave does not start with a D. You learn the most informative things on my channel. You're welcome, everyone. Yeah, go on. What's the worst that could happen? Multi-wave rooms are much, proportionately much worse as the lost than most characters. So I'm really going to be relying on this holy mantle. And if it gets popped in an early wave, you're in trouble. Oh, that's not the thing I thought I was using, but it, it worked fine. It's okay. I meant to use a bomb. Bomb's a key. I better have loads of stuff to unlock then, I guess. That'll do it, yeah. up red hearts that's that's demon bum right whatever his name is i have hundreds of hours in this game from when it came out i should remember so if but if all he drops is soul hearts or spiders i'm not thinking that's a good bet for me what does this do little bomb box thing. I can get more gold and go back in there, right? Yeek! That was bad. I shouldn't have done that. The bit where I got hit was not in the plan. Map? Let me get that without... Also, I'm lost now. I forgot where I was going again. Oh yeah, no, I, I went down once just to get some extra gold, but I didn't finish that area. That's why this that room was cleared when I was expecting it not to be. this room. Much too much going on. Get that. 
fast so that it doesn't become a nuisance. Eek. I like the Lost. It's one of my favourite characters, I think. Tricky, but it's fun. Like, he's powerful enough that, um, that it's easy enough to clear stuff quickly. But he does have that whole can't get hit twice in the same room drawback. Which is... Ah, I was just, I was just voicing my approval. How could you? Well, I'm running out of things which have dailies. I'm not feeling Race the Sun on Neurovoider today. Um, I know there's a Rayman game which has a daily, but I haven't even played that at all. I can switch. I can switch to. I can switch to Biathlon. Let's do that. <laughs> 